What's up everyone, it's Sean here. Before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more gaming streams and tutorial videos. Alright, let's head over to canva.com. There will be a link in the description to get here. The reason that I use Canva is because it saves all of my previous thumbnails that I've created. And to alter or change, all I've got to do is click on that thumbnail and I can go in and change each part that I need to change in it. You will need to make an account first if you haven't already. The easiest way that I've found to sign in is with Google because it's quick and convenient. On this page you'll want to click create a design unless you see the YouTube thumbnail template up here at top. You might have to scroll down a ways to find it. Look through everything to see if you can find it. It was hard for me to find it the first few times I've tried it. On this page there's several templates to choose from. If you have an adventure theme, this would be a good one to use. You've got the mountain in the background. It also says adventure on the front of it. I've got this also for adventure. I've got several good ones that you could use to make it a little bit quicker. But we're going to make one from scratch so that way it will completely represent the video we're going to make. Over here on the left is all of the images I've ever downloaded and uploaded to Canvas. There's not very many of them but with live streaming I use typically use the same thumbnail. Maybe move some stuff around. Put text, different text in it. We're going to make one from scratch though. Let's go ahead and open another tab and go to Google and you can search anything on here, whatever background image you want. Under this you can pick whatever background image you want. You want the image to be size 1920 by 1080. By doing so you click the tools and go under the size. Click exact so you can type it in. 1920 by 1080. You can be creative on what kind of picture you pick for it. Right now we're just going to pick a random picture that's clean to represent the text that I'm going to put in it. Right now we're going to pick a picture that is clean so you can clearly see the text in the picture. You want something that doesn't have a lot of light spots and dark spots where you're going to put your text. So if it's light you can put black text. If it's dark you can put light text. Let's go ahead and pick this picture with a hardwood floor. I'm going to click view image. After you click the image if it brings you to the image, enlarge it, right click and save image as. If it doesn't send you to the image, it's best to go and find another image because the quality, if you save it right here, will be lower than the quality of clicking on the image. Back over here, we're going to upload the image. Delete that off of there. We'll click it and just drag it over. Then scale it until the bottom right says 1280 by 720. Or you see both cross marks on it. Horizontal and vertical lines. Now I've got YouTube on here already. Put that up there in the corner. I've got a little live thing for when I do my live streams. Another YouTube that I can throw on there, but I'm not going to have this much on there. I'm just going to have one YouTube on here. This is actually for one of the games that I play. And we're going to add some text. There's also background images and elements. We're just going to put text on there and have the YouTube down there to make it simple and quick. Change this to white. type in something similar to the title to closely represent what the video is going to be. And scale that and put that wherever you want it. Adjust the size to what you want it. 
you want it big enough for people to be able to read for they could be on a tablet or a cell phone something with very small video or a very small screen for this YouTube the U you can't see the U so you want to the U on YouTube for me I can't see so I'm gonna try to find a transparent YouTube logo see if we can find one that's got white in the background this one right here would be perfect pull this off to the side to see if maybe throws the color off a little bit but it still still serves the purpose that we need just delete that one off of there and then click download you guys could be a lot more creative with these if say if you're playing Fortnite which is a new popular game right now I've downloaded a lot of Fortnite transparent pictures which is the picture that you seen when I started the stream I had that up it's a background picture of Fortnite I downloaded the Battle Royale transparent logo some transparent characters a trap but a chest which I've found out how popular them chests are some of the Resident Evil stuff you just put these wherever you want however you want I ended up putting these characters here back here like they're all standing there I scaled them down to size so it looked like they were standing on top of that it's hard for people to see something that small in the thumbnail when they're on a the tablet or a phone computer you can kinda of see it but it's still a little hard for people to actually see something that small because the picture you're seeing here is much bigger than what they're gonna see unless they're waiting for the live stream to start one thing I recommend doing before you download the image is going up to the filters clicking on the advanced options you want to bring up the contrast by about 10 to 15 and take the blur down by about 10 to 15 that'll make the picture a lot more clear to be able to see when it's scaled down on the phone or tablet and also on the PC that way people can see the detail of the picture before they click on the video PGN is the recommended file type to download for YouTube backgrounds. JPEG is the recommended file type to download for Twitch backgrounds. By exiting this page, it automatically saves thumbnail at your home page. So you can use it for the next time. And that is it on how to make a quick an easy thumbnail using canva.com you guys have any questions feel free to ask in the comments if you've enjoyed what you've seen don't forget to like and subscribe it'd be a big help and i will catch you guys next time